Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science N1. Uh, in this platform, we shall be working on revisions on section A. So we put the question paper, which was written in August 2021, that we are going to focus with. All right, so on question one, we are given various options are given as possible answers to the following questions. Choose the answer and write only the letter A to D next to the question. All right, on 1.1, we are given which one of the following is not a vector quantity. All right, so which one is not a vector quantity? Remember that a vector quantity, it possesses uh, the magnitude, it must have the magnitude, sorry for this, let me try to reduce this one. All right, something like this one. So we know that this one, it has the magnitude and direction, all right. So which one of these ones is not, which means which one does not have uh, both, okay? It can have magnitude only, but not direction, okay? So in this case, we've got velocity. Remember velocity, it's a vector because we can say five meters per second north. Force, it's a vector quantity. C, we've got energy. If you are referring to energy, it's just 20 kilojoules or 20 joules, there's no direction. So this one is a scalar quantity, all right? So momentum, it's a vector quantity, all right? So the answer there was energy. Uh, a people uh, follows the route shown in fig one and arrives back at the starting point, identify the, the row in the table that shows the total distance walked and then the magnitude of the final displacement, all right? So in this case, we are given, all right, so to identify a row in the table that shows total distance and the magnitude of final displacement, all right? So remember that total distance, you add everything, everything, that is from the starting point, okay? From the starting point to the finishing point, you add everything. So this is going to be 40 plus 150. So that is going to be our distance in this case. So our distance is going to be, we add 40, plus 150, plus this 40, okay, plus this 150 like this, all right? So this is going to give us, uh, if we add properly, we are going to obtain, all right, let's obtain our calculator here, all right. Let's see if our calculator, or you can even add, guys, this is 340, which is 80, so this is 380, okay? without a calculator goes, okay, I, okay. Uh, these ones we can just add. So this is 380 meters. Then the displacement, uh, let's check what is happening here. We can see that when ye, uh, when uh, this one is going up for the first one, we've got 40 meters going up. So this is 40 meters going up, all right? Then we've got 150 to the right. Remember to the right, it's a positive. So we're going to add 150. But this time we are going down, so we're going to subtract 40. And this 150 is going to the left, we subtract 150. So that means uh, we are going to obtain a 0, 40 minus 40, that's a 0, 150 minus 50, that's a 0. So the displacement is a 0. So where are we having a total distance of 380 and displacement is 0? So this is on this part here, that is on C. All right, so the answer, on 1.2 was going to be a C. All right, we move on to the other part of the question. All right, so let's check the other part of the question. So we are now given 1.3. Fig two below shows a, a side view of a roller co uh, okay, coaster track. At which point does the roller coaster have greatest amount of potential energy? What, what determines potential energy? Potential energy, Remember, it is given by MGH, which is, it is affected by the work done, that is the force uh, due to gravity, which is the weight, sorry, that is the weight and the height. So the bigger or the greater the height, the higher the amount of what? Of potential energy that you're going to have. So if you increase the height, you are increasing potential energy because this is directly proportional. So we can see that on A, we have got a higher 
high that we have on point A. This is the biggest highest height that we have. So that is where we are going to have the greatest amount of potential energy. So our answer was going to be A, all right? Uh, so that is what we have. Uh, what is temperature, guys? This is a definition for temperature. So temperature, that is the degree of hotness and coldness, okay? So here we are given how hot or cold something is. That is the proper definition that we can take. Uh, 1.5, what is power? So power, we are given work per unit time, force per unit distance. This is wrong. Thought this is wrong. So we've got uh, work per unit time, all right? Remember that power is equivalent to work over time, all right? So that is what we have. Then on question two, indicate whether the following statements are true or false by writing only true or false next to the question, okay? Weight and mass are the same, uh, the same quantity, okay? Are they the same quantity? Weight and mass, this is wrong. Weight, that is we are referring to force. Mass, it's, okay, so this is actually wrong, okay? So this is false. Then specific heat capacity is the amount of heat required to change the temperature uh, of a unit mass, which is of one kg by one degree, okay? So that is it exactly. Uh, so this is true, all right? So this is actually true. So the mass, it will be of one kg there, all right? Uh, assuming no air friction, an object in free fall would have constant acceleration. If there is no air friction, yes, this is true. So this is a repetition. If you have to check these questions uh, from another person, we, we, we saw, we had this question. Okay, so this is a repetition. 2.4, parallel circuits have only one path in which electricity can flow. This is wrong. All right, this is actually wrong. Check, check. A parallel circuit, we've got a circuit of this nature. Uh, that's a parallel circuit here. So remember, to the flow of current, if at this point the current is going to branch another here, another here, so it has got not the same direction. It can only have one path in a series circuit. So a parallel circuit, this is false. All right, so this is actually false. Uh, the ampere is the unit of resistance. Oh, this is false, guys. The ampere is the unit of current. Then resistance is measured in ohms. So this is false, all right? Ampere is for current. Okay, then resistance, you use what? You use ohms, okay? So that is false in this case. Uh, we are going to check another question. Uh, that is question three. So on question three, we are given to choose a term from column B. So this is column B. Uh, that matches description in column A, okay? Write only the letter A to G, it, okay? Uh, so let's start 3.1. The rate at which work is done. What is that, guys? The rate at which work is done. So we have this as power. Remember power, this is the definition for, for power. And we had that definition before. So power, uh, okay, that's C here. So our answer is going to be C for power. Okay, a quantity that is both magnitude and direction. We talked about this uh, from question, it was question one, and we said this is a vector quantity. And a vector, okay, a vector is on F. So the answer here was F. Material that electricity can travel through easily, that's a conductor, and we have it on E. If there is no flow of current, it's what? It's an insulator, okay? So this one is a conductor, which is E. Then 3.4, the smallest unit of matter. This is an atom, and atom, that's A. So that's A here. Atomic particles that are positively charged. Okay, so positive charge, we're talking of protons here. So protons, that's a D. Negatively charged, those are electrons, okay? Uh, no charge, that is a neutral, they are given uh, as the neutral part, which is the neutrons, okay? Uh, so that is what we had on question three, question four. Complete the following sentences by choosing word uh, from the list below, right? Only the word, these are the words that we are given. So you choose one, all right? Uh, 4.1, energy is the ability to do what or cause change. What is energy, okay? So energy is the ability to do work, okay? To do work, uh, that is work exactly or cause change, okay? Gravitational acceleration is a vector 
measurement because it has both magnitude and guys this is a repetition to take here what we talked about a vector here we said it must have magnitude and direction they are asking again the same thing here so it must have what magnitude and direction because it's a it's a vector so guys a repetition throughout all right mass is the measure of how much dash dash of an object contains so this is how much matter an object contains and we have got matter yes uh on 4.4 we are given dash dash are atomic particles that have no charge or remember i talked about this that if there's no charge we are talking of what neutrons okay so these are neutrons so we can have this as neutrons uh then on 4.5 dash dash can be defined as anything that takes up space and has got mass what is it it's matter again so matter is uh is anything that occupies uh space or has got mass okay so that was our section a guys total of 20 marks so this is just a revision for you to attempt section A. Make sure that you revise every topic. Uh, you must have a basic information in each and every topic. Just uh, peruse through every topic in your syllabus. Okay, so that's what we had, guys, for Mason African Motives. Till we meet again.